So they were, I mean, they were right there. Just couldn't quite uh, score enough points to land themselves a quarterfinal berth. Here they are in the semifinals, thanks to their unbeaten pool play campaign against a battle-tested Mongolian team. Here we go. Ten minutes on the game clock. It is on and popping Dabai Sambu. He couldn't knock down the two. Doug Gunn, strong on the layup attempt. Bogart's going to swing it. Nick Sellis. Nick the quick. Missed it. Rebound to Gotov. Good hands there from Sellis. He steals the ball back for the Belgians. Belgians. Vervoort, he's fouled behind the line. He was shooting two. So a little bit too aggressive there defensively. So here's Vervoort. Thirteen point score. He could add another. Second free throw is going to go. So Belgium draw first blood here in this battle with Mongolia. Goto going right. He's got an open man. Ink top on. Can he hold on to it? He does. A couple of up fakes. Comes out empty. Bogerts over to Vervoort. Vervoort left, right. They got three to shoot. Bogerts set shot. Drops it like it's hot. A two-piece makes it a three-nothing game. Gotov moves right, runs into trouble. Davos is not going to be able to track that down. Ball over to Belgium. So a minute in. You got a Bogert's two-piece. And a score on the inside. Revort coming around. That's good action right there. Beautiful play design right there from Belgium. Leads to the Nick Sellers crib for nothing. Nice attempt there. Better defense, though. It's theory. He had that one figured out. It wasn't just a theory. It's a fact. For nothing. That's where we at. Buck and a half in. Getting the shot clock uh, together. That's the that's the hold up. Should be six, and that's exactly what it is. Six seconds to shoot for the boys in blue. Doug Gunn crossover up fake two to shoot. He forces it up off the rim. It goes begging. Theory, Sellis, Sellis out to Bogarts. He thought about the two instead. He's going to drive. But the defensive mastermind that is Del Gunn, Inkbot. He tattooed that one. Borvort starts the possession. Elevates through the contact, two piece, no biscuit, six nothing. Belgium all over the Mongolians. They need to answer. No answer there. Sellis hands off. Bogerts, strong drive. Look at the movement from this Belgium team. First, first look at that. What a shot, man. And he had two toes behind the line, too. FaceTime. Bogerts. Trying to make this a 7 nothing game, but he's too strong. Foul on the rebound. And Theory raises his hand, says, that's me. You got me. What Belgium does got is a 6 nothing lead. They out of the gate strong in this one. Ink Taiwan moving right. He's going to hand it off. Go Tove gets the screen, tries to sneak it in there to Ink Taiwan, but that pass was well off the mark. Kind of forced that one in there. So Mongolia yet to get on the board to this point. Only two minutes into this one. A lot of game to be played. Vervoort, little stop and go. Ink Taiban, though. No argument from him. Foul on the defense. Number three on Mongolia.
Oh, miscommunication here from the Belgians. They were lucky to, to keep possession there. As ball off blue. Otherwise, that was, yeah, it looked like it was going to be a waste of possession. Instead, they got four to shoot. They got two to shoot. Sellis sets his feet. Missed it. Though gun. He's going to get the rebound. Davasambu, he wants somebody to come over. No, he's late in the shot clock. He said, I'm just going to take it myself. Nope, he's bottled up. Oh, right idea from Sellis. His theory had a step, but he didn't have the hands to, to finish the playoff. So ball back over to the Mongolians. It's Ink Taiwan trying to get some space. Look at this defense here from Belgium. Ain't nothing sweet about that. They're trying to leave a bitter taste in the Mongolian's mouth. There's a theft right there. Let's go Tove, goes behind the back. Jump hook. Oh, good rebound. Fake the pass. Missed the shot. Probably should have faked the shot too. Six nothing, steal. Sellis. Is that tipped away from him? Yeah, it was. I believe that's off of uh, Mongolia. So it should be 4.6 seconds left on the shot clock for the Belgians when they come out of this break. It is a TV timeout. It is a semifinal, one of two on the men's side. Lady side has been decided in terms of who's going to be playing in the final. It is Hungary and Italy. Our first men's semi right here. It's been all, all Belgium. Uh, to this point. They got the Mongolians on their heels. Celis' floater had too much float. Now Doug Gunn sets his feet. They needed that. One ain't enough. He need two. So it's a four-point game. Here's Marion. He's going to step back. Air mails it. Strong defense. Mongolia's D starting to step up a tick here. Davasambu. Nice fundamental bounce pass. Great vision. And all of a sudden, Mongolia is showing some life here. Here they go. 6-3 contest. Vorvurt. Nope. And then a foul on Sellis, number two on Belgium. Well, here's Del Gunn taking his time. It's slippery over there. And then he slips to the cup. Ink Taiban. Waiting on the screen from Davasambu. Hands it off to Goto, the archer. The bank is open. Oh, and Ink Taiban is down. Theory called for the foul. And all of a sudden, just like that, it's 6-5, a one-point game, as Mongolia is going on a 5-0 run to answer Belgium's 6-0 run to start the game. Take another look at the moving screen. That's an offensive foul. Davasambu, tough shot. Ball over to Belgium. Sellis quickly gives it up. That ball doesn't stick in people's hands very long. It's always in action. Pass, move. And no score that time, but they stick with it. Sellis couldn't get it. They still keep it alive. Somehow, some way, they keep earning possessions. Offensive rebounds. 6-5, it stays. Doug Gunn. There's uh, Davasambu. He's there to follow things up. 6-6. Six, six. Sellis fakes the handoff. Cross. Body. 7-6 now. Oh, Doug Gunn. What is he? He's trying to sneak through the defense. I think Bogers kind of bailed him out there. Doug Gunn was in a tough spot. 
surrounded by three Belgians. And really no need to foul there, but he does. So he'll send, send uh, Dill Gunn up to the charity strike. Shoot one that can top this thing up. Might as well be a 0-0 game if he does, but he does not. So it stays a one-point advantage for Belgium. We're under five minutes to play. Bogerts going to the crossover. Ball fade, good shot. Really soft touch on the inside. Still the one possession game with a two-point contest, Belgium. Dogun with theory all up in his business. He couldn't give him the business from long range. Outstanding hustle, but he gave it to the wrong team. Leads to a wide open look for Vorvoort. He couldn't knock it down. Bogert stays with it. Vorvoort now moving right. Foul blue. Fourth on Mongolia to match Belgium's four. Yeah, but you see Goto. He was tired. Sell his hands off. Theory. Nope. Oh, Goto looked the defense off. Ink tie vine. Better get a shot up. Doesn't touch anything. Shot clock violation. And another TV timeout. So we're under four minutes to play. 3.46 to be exact. Good defense from the Belgians. So one of the reasons I picked them to be a pretty dangerous team here in the tournament. And figured that they could contend with the Mongolias and the Slovenias of the world is because they got great athleticism. They got great size. They're a good shooting team. They got youth. And they seem to have a pretty good understanding of the game. They jumped out to a 6-0 lead in this one. But you know Warriors come from Mongolia. They're going to fight you into the final horn. And it's only a two-point game with 3.41 to play. Here's Marion. Quick step. But he missed it, and also a foul now called after the miss on Belgium. A fifth on them. They got just one more foul to give. Mongolia again with four fouls. Go Tov. He got plenty of space. And nothing but space on the shot. Sellers, handoff. Revoort, oh, crossover. Missed the two-piece. Gets it to Sellers, Sellers. Good defense on the inside from Doug Gunn. Revoort attacking the rack, but Doug Gunn was not having it. He threw it back like an oldie but goodie. 8-6, Davasambu, the Bulls. Using that muscle to get the bucket underneath. Mongolia ain't going nowhere. Seven, eight contest. Borvort elevates. He gives him a taste. Two for a dollar. Davasambu. Ball tipped away from him, so he sticks with it. Decides to go to the cup. Couldn't get it to go. Davasambu looks a little bit gassed. Let's see what he can do defensively here. Let's see if Nick Sellis senses that. He does. He attacks the Vasambu. And he gets the bucket. 11 to 7. And for Vort, he's whistled for the foul. Let's take another look at Vor Vort and that dull gun. Yeah. He is the lane lord. Get evicted. Four point contest. A much needed breather for both teams in this 10 minute sprint to the final. 20 minutes of 3x3 hoop, and you can find yourself going to the Olympics. Seven of the eight spots have been snapped up, already gone. That leaves one final ticket, and it'll be decided by the end of business today right in front of the old Reformed Church here in Deberson, one of our favorite locations in 3x3. 
That's a fifth foul on Mongolia. Offensive foul moving on the screen. Theory coming around. They got it to him a little late. He would have got a good look. Instead, they fumble away the possession. Now it's Goto. Back to Dogun. Dogun. He is going to lose the handle on it. Oh, yeah, he definitely got a bump. So a seventh foul on Belgium, and it wasn't the smartest there. You're looking at Dogun, who was already in a position of desperation. The ball is loose. There's no need for that. No need for that shove. So a good call. Ref Edmund all on top of it. And uh, it's going to put Dogun at the strike. He's shooting two. Belgium in the penalty, and he knocks down two. That's a clean trip to the strike. That's exactly what Mongolia needed. They are two points away from tying this game up. Can they slow down the Belgian attack, though? They've had trouble to this point. They have not had an answer for Nick Sellis, but he was self-checked that time, missed the crib. Now he's got to deal with that bull of uh, Davasambu, or maybe not. Davasambu steps out in the deep waters. Careful, he might drown you. 11-11. Now Vervoort, he's going to get a chance to take two back, and it's too long. Gotov, down low. Davasambu, that's what he calls home. He takes him to the basement and out muscled him. Mongolia out front, they were trailing this game 6 nothing to start. Sellers kick out for Vurt, lets it fly. Missed, but a, what a tip underneath from Bogerts. Evens things up at 12 apiece. Just over a minute to play. Spot in the final on the line here. Olympic hopes on the line here. As Dogun, desperation, he's it out of bounds. It's a timeout for Belgium. But look again, Davasambu with the confidence to pull the trigger from long range. He's good on the outside and the inside. And he's got a 12-12 tie after his team was down 6 nothing. Hell of a ball game. Everybody's on the edge of their seats. Your heart's starting to pound a little harder in your chest right now. You know what it is. 54 seconds left. Here we go. Back to it. Whoa, we got two players down. No whistle. I like the no call there. Foul on the floor, though. Ink Taiwan call for the foul. That is seven. Or is that six? Actually, six. I gave him an extra foul. Six fouls on Mongolia. Belgium's the one with seven. But Mongolia have no more to give. Vervoort. Oh, he left his feet. Foul blue. Dogun was climbing his back trying to defend the pass. And that is two quick fouls on Mongolia. So now that'll lead to two shots at the free throw line with 38 seconds to play. Whew. Nick Sellis' first free throw is bottoms. Second free throw. Missed. Here comes Mongolia. They give it to Davasambu. Goto puts it up. Big two hit. 14 to 13. Sellis. Oh, another foul. That one on Dogun. 20 ticks to go. Mongolia leading 14 to 13. Take another look at the archer finding his mark from the corner. Sellis, solid at the line. As Stu Scott, the late Stu Scott would say, he's cooler than the other side of the pillow. 
At least on the first one he was. It's 14-14. They get it to the lead warrior, Davasa Boo. He put him in the bucket. So the bull bulls his way in. Mongolia leading by one. Bervort down low. Bogerts, he can win it with a two here. Oh, he hits it. It ain't over with yet. Mongolia will get, they won't get a shot. It's heartbreak for the Mongolians. They had the game in their grasp, and what a shot from Bogerts. Ice water running through his veins. A Tiso buzzer beater. Rafael Bogerts. Smooth as yogurt on the release. Few looks at that, and that is your game winner.